You said before the game that Central Florida was a team that's better than its record. It came in, they came in 1-4-1, one, and one, and you insisted that team is better than their record. What concerned you most about the team that you it's beat good, tonight? It's a good team. Um, it's a good team. Haven't had a home game yet. The Hurricane uh, put a uh, challenge into their schedule without having a home game. So their first home games next week. It's a good group. So I am very happy with the boys. Uh, the way they fought back to win it, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a challenging team to play with uh, a lot of good technical players that move the ball well and exploit spaces uh, in certain areas, and they did a good job, so I tip my cap to the way they play, and I, it's going to continue to get better with the new coach there, so uh, a very good group from them. UCF came out and played like a team that thought they belonged in this game, scored an early goal. Uh, what were they able to do to be effective in that early push to coming out of the locker room. Yeah, I mean, we, we weren't ready. We weren't sharp to start the game. So, um, and that's on on me and the rest of the staff to make sure that we're fully prepared for the game. Um, so we weren't, uh, it took us it took us 15, 20 minutes to get moving and to really get going. And, you know, tactically we had to make a little change in the first half. We were a little too deep in how we defended and had to release a couple of players and get a little higher and in that kind of, brought us into the game a little more and stopped their possession. So um, that one worked, but you know we weren't fully prepared and we didn't start well. Obviously every goal is important, but you get the tying goal from Garrett McLaughlin in the 21st minute, I think. Right. How important was it for your team to have that tying goal before the intermission? Yeah, it was a big goal. I couldn't really see it. I know it was off a set play and it kind of scrambled around in there, but um, I couldn't really tell it what happened. But. You know, that's what that's what Garrett does. He finds good spots and he puts, puts the ball home. So, um, you know, he was frustrated with himself in the second half that he didn't find another goal because he's a striker and he's hungry to score. And that's that's what we want out of him. So he continues to get better and put himself in dangerous positions to score goals. And opportunities will fall to him and he'll tuck them home. What did you talk about at halftime? What kind of adjustments did you try to make? No, it wasn't it wasn't huge tactical adjustments. We just needed to step a little higher and release a couple players and get more pressure to the ball. Um, no, it was a pretty even game. I think it was, you know, there weren't a ton of shots in it. There weren't a ton of chances, but um, a lot of, you know, a lot of both teams keeping the ball for extended periods of time and trying to change sides and, you know, find areas wide both teams were able to exploit. And, you know, it was, uh, yeah, we didn't make a ton of changes, but we talked about where we need to get the ball, how quickly we need to change sides, you know, how we should get the ball out of the backs and bring the ball into the midfield. and. Um, you know, our tens did a better job of showing up in pockets and getting on the ball. So, um, second half was definitely better. Um, and then DJ comes off the bench and scores a big goal. Didn't play it all in the first half. We threw him on for 10, 15 minutes and caused trouble. Pops up in a great spot and, you know, a wonderful header home. Ever since he's been here, you've been talking about DJ being perhaps the fastest guy on the field every sure. time out. And then he scores, he climbs the ladder and goes up and gets a beautiful header. Did you know? Did you know that he had that in him? Yeah, he's a great athlete. I mean, his his pace and athleticism can can break open games, and you know that's why we give him. You know, he, he deserves the opportunity. You throw him on, and you know, he keeps doing that. You know, his minutes will continue to extend. So, um, yeah, it was a great header. He picked a good spot between two defenders, and he may only be five foot eight or five foot nine, but I mean, those center backs are six three, six two, and he had no problem going over him and winning it. So. It's a nice problem to have for you and the coaching staff, right? You got Garrett McLaughlin scoring. I think he has six goals now to yeah, lead your I think team. He's on six. And then you bring a guy like DJ in fresh late in the game. That's sure. got to be murder on the opposing defense. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'm sure the center backs don't like that when they look up and they see, you know, they see DJ come on the field. And I mean, every team in the conference knows who he is because he has elite pace. So, um, if I was a center back and DJ came on in the 70th minute and said, "Here we go, I'm running behind," I would. Uh, I would probably soften up my defense and drop a little deeper and try to uh, give a little more cover, and that gives us more room to play. So, yeah, he did a good job. You came into this game. You'd had a couple guys banged up in, in the last week or so. You lost, lost a heartbreaker in Tulsa in overtime. So to win today against a very good team and the way in which you won coming from behind, how much does that do for your team going forward? Yeah, I mean, we have uh, we don't play till next Saturday, so we have eight days now. Um, Makes it a heck of a lot easier to run into this week after winning. Uh, so this week will be a little, uh, a little brighter, a little more cheery, a little more energy in training. So that's uh, 
takes a little pressure off for the time being, but it's a good conference. There's a lot of good teams in the league, and we had to Temple next week, so um, yeah, it gives us confidence, but we never lack confidence. You know, it's something in the team that we believe firmly in what we do and the way we want to play the game, and you know, we will continue to try to play the game we, the way we want to play, and hopefully be proactive in how we build and try to break down opponents. So um, nothing changes. Keep doing. Uh, Keep playing the way we want and trying to create results.